now this is a distribution single line diagram representation of a transmission line from its generation to load now a general confusion that comes in a student's mind that why there is so much transformers are used to supply the power from generating station to load see how many transformers are being used here one two three and four why this much amount of transformers the simple answer is to avoid losses or to gain better efficiency now what kind of loss is involved in transmission line a major loss in this transmission line is called copper loss and what is the expression of this copper loss is I square R where I is your current flowing through this transmission line and R is your resistance of the line now what is the generated power at this generating station it is equal to root 3 V I cos phi as it is generating a three phase power so if the generated power P is equal to your root 3 V I cos phi where V is your voltage I is your current and cos phi is your power factor now what is the value of this current the value of this current is equal to P divided by root 3 cos phi now this current value is directly proportional with P or generated power and inversely proportional with voltage that means whenever I am generating a power at this generating station suppose this is a 300 megawatt power generating station so this amount of power 300 megawatt is constant that is your generated power is always constant so whenever we are transferring it through your transmission line then it is passing through this copper loss and the value of this copper loss is squarely proportional with current so if I am decreasing the value of this current then I am actually able to supply more amount of power or we could increase the efficiency of this transmission line this is the reason why so many transformers are used basically here the step up transformer is increasing the generated voltage 11 kV into 220 kV that is a huge improvement or huge stepping up of voltages so that we can decrease the value of the current because your power is always same it doesn't affect the amount of power that is being transferred from generating station to load but as we are increasing the voltage we are simultaneously decreasing the the value of the current that is I and we are decreasing the losses so here the voltage is stepped up that is 220 kV then after transmitting it's a long distance it is generally a long distance transmission then it is stepped down to 66 kV again at secondary grid substation it is decreased to 11 kV and then from the distribution transformer it is stepping down to 400 volt and supplied to the load as we know the three phase power system is a distribution system is 400 volt or a range of 400 to 440 volt and single phase system is 
220 to 240 volt range and another thing I want to add is different companies maintains different voltage level some companies work at 220 kV some companies are working at 400 kV some companies may be working at 700 kV so it solely depends upon the companies that is supplying the or generating or distributing the entire system or maintaining the entire system so what we really understood that essentially we need to decrease the value of the current by increasing the voltage so that we could decrease the copper loss and we can increase the efficiency of the transmission system or transmission line i hope you have understood the basic concept here if any queries please do mention in the comment section below